just finished the first my first real running running uh, test of the new Sp uh, Hoka Speed Goat threes. Nice shoe. The shoe color reminds me of Play-Doh ice cream from when I was a little kid, but they stand out for sure. I like them. Not too off-putting of a color. Um, I kind of like a little bit less toned, uh, a little bit more toned down, but still great colors. Now, the place where I'm running is just gorgeous. A fantastic spot to try these shoes out. This is Monument Valley, Utah slash Arizona. You're kind of back and forth across the border a little bit. This is at the visitor center up here. It's called the Overlook or the View. Now, the, the terrain on this section of the road on the run has beach soft sand, you know, like really, really loose and really fine sand. Um, some slick rock areas where you're running on completely solid surfaces. A lot of the trail is made up of kind of a hard packed gravel or kind of a loose gravel. And on all the different setting or set segments of the run, I felt like I had all the traction that I needed. Um, didn't feel like I was having too much or that the lugs were too tall. Um, with some lugs, I've got some Solomon shoes as well. With a little bit, you can feel the, if you're kind of on the side of, you know, running on something a little bit slanted, you can feel that it kind of wants to tip a little bit. Some older versions of Hoka's that I had, the soles were really, they were thicker than this. And my weak ankles would roll um, if I got on too much of an angle or was stepping on a rock a little bit weird. But I did not feel that way with these shoes. I don't feel like they're too tall that the platform that the soles are too thick. Um, they are extremely responsive shoes, meaning um, I heard one, a gal at the, the running store say, you know, say that they're kind of proactive response shoes. And I was like, I don't get that. Um, and she explained, I was like, okay, that makes sense. That meaning that this, the shoe, it's not gonna spring you by any means, but as you, as you compress, it'll push back a little bit and gives you, it feels like you're, it's rocking you just a, a tiny bit, which to me, I like that, uh, like that feel with it. Now, running on uneven terrain like rocks and pebbles and stones and, or sharp rocks that are sitting on, you know, in solid rock situations, um, my other hokas, you could feel the rocks or it would roll my shoe with how stiff the sole was or with other um, Nikes or Solomons. And a lot of shoes, they either kind of go one way, really soft, squishy soles to absorb the shoe or solid, really hard soles so that you don't feel it. Um, when I would step on rocks, so let's say if I stepped on a rock on the side of my shoe with my old ones, I would de it would definitely push my shoe over and I'd feel a little bit of a roll. Not that like it would knock, you know, knock me over anything or on one of the sides over here or over here. It would rock my sole, rock my sole, um, but it would rock the shoe a little bit and, you know, make you kind of take a little stutter step. With these, it absorbed it way, way better. Um, this. The, the red section here is a really, really firm uh, portion of the sole where all the lugs are attached. But this underbelly portion, the blue part, is really, really, really um, squishy. And so when I'd step on stuff that's uneven, like a rock or like something that juts out from a rock, it just absorbs right into it and it doesn't push my foot over. It just absorbs it where it's at and I just keep on going. So really, really like the shoes overall. Um, a few things to point out. On the toe here, we got this solid section um, with the cross hatches. This I found was incredibly nice, especially when running in sand. That you know, as you, as you bury your, as you come forward, your toe comes up. Your toe gets buried ever so slightly, and if you don't pick your toe up really well, you'll drag out of the sand a little bit. And with some other, some previous running shoes and my old, my other hookahs, they had netting that went almost, almost all the way to the front. You know, it, it went almost up to where the sole wrap comes up here, and it would um, let sand. It would have sand go down into my shoes, and it would really, really add up. After you know, 10, 20, 30 strides in sand, and you've got a toe full. Of, you've got a shoe full of sand. You've got to dump out. So this was a lifesaver. I would imagine it'll give you a similar kind of benefit in, in light water conditions. Not if you're running through anything deep. Obviously, it'll still come into here. My one, the one shortcoming of this of this shoe that I would say, is that this same rubber section that helps protect you with the sand 
could be thicker. I've hit my toe. I hit my toe a couple of times on rocks going up um, some ledges and things like that. This provides zero, zero cushion um, or protection on your toes as you're running against something. So um, some Adidas that I looked at and oh, who else? Some salt. I can't remember. I can't remember which other ones I was looking at. This it has some good toe protection. That would be my addition for the next version of the Hoka's. Add some toe protection to these babies. Love it. Overall, absolutely wonderful shoe. Um, I got mine same price I could find them online. I got them at a local shoe store, local running store um, in Utah. Fantastic. Extremely happy with my purchase. Excited to put a bunch of miles on these babies. We'll see you next time.